All right, VP elect Mike Pence goes to, to see the hit Broadway musical Hamilton and gets a liberal lecture instead. We have, a, we have a message for you, sir. We hope that you will hear us out. We are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. President elect Trump coming to the defense of his VP this morning, tweeting, Our wonderful future VP, Mike Pence, was harassed last night, and this was yesterday, uh, at the theater by the cast of Hamilton. Cameras blazing. This should not happen. And he said, The cast and producers of Hamilton, which I hear, this is what he tweeted this morning, <laughs> which I hear is highly overrated, should immediately apologize to Mike Pence for their terrible behavior. So, does the cast of Hamilton owe Mr. Pence an apology? Here to debate, Fox News contributors David Webb and the Reverend Jacques de Graff. Thank you, Good morning. For joining us this morning. Good to be here. So, Reverend, should he apologize? Should they apologize? No, they, they've ex they're Americans who exec exercise their right to free speech, number one. Number two, it's the most successful play in history of Broadway. And if anyone should apologize, I do believe it would be the audience. They, they did boo, and I thought they, they were disrespectful. What do you think, David? I'm confused. They're both American citizens, why, or a group of American citizens. Why should the audience apologize and the players not? Look, it's rude. Let's, you know, I was raised better than this. You don't do that. They didn't do it to Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, or uh, President Obama when he went. And imagine if they'd done this with President Obama. Here's the irony. Little history lesson in quick bullet points. The Federalist Party, Alexander Hamilton, the Sedition Act. Under the Sedition Act, which was pushed by Alexander Hamilton, they would have actually been charged as 14 Republicans were, including newspaper men, a congressional candidate who won his seat while in jail and punished. So the irony is actually not lost. As far as the boycott and boycott Hamilton, and I get all of that, I think I would go to Jeffrey Sellers, the producer of the play, who said both Republicans and Democrats are welcome, and hold him to that and say, Jeffrey, I'm talking to you. Would you invite Governor Pence back, or now President, Vice President-elect Pence, and have him come to the play again and see how they act? Interesting. You, you, know, you know, the facts are this. Uh, this week it's Hamilton. Uh, before it was a Saturday Night Live, we're trying to form a government, and Americans are interested in that government being formed based on American principles. For 18 months, we've heard divisive and hateful rhetoric, and that's what people are reacting to. You didn't think people would just forget that. This is New York, and in New York, people so, express but, 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 themselves. But uh, President-elect Trump and, and Vice President-elect uh, Pence have gone out of their way to say we want to have a government, a form of government of the people, of all people, yet they get this reaction. Because in the real world, people are being harassed. They are victims of hate Where's crime. the evidence of that? I keep hearing that. The evidence is that the Justice Department, that their bias incidents and hate incidents have gone up across the country. No, no, the actually, in New York. Actually, Call the New York City Police Department. Actually, reports Call of the hate press. crimes, according to the FBI, statistics have gone down. You can look not, that not, up. Not since the election. You can look that Those up. statistics haven't Josh, been compiled since the election. Those statistics are not available yet, by the way. So then how would you refer to them? them? So you can't say they've gone up. You don't have the facts. Mm -hmm. However, here's where we are. We have, yes, a divisive election. We have a divided electorate on many issues. Yeah. We have an election where we come out with more blacks, more Hispanics voting for, for Trump than they did in the Romney election, which was significant. Sure. We see a change in the dynamic in the economic environment for blacks. Incomes have gone down. Now opportunity may face them. Yep. But they come out on stage and they talk about, are you going to defend the planets? Are yeah. you going to defend? Who are they not going to defend? <laughs> it's ridiculous. What it is, is a bunch of self-interested actors who have a right to speak, sure. but yet are doing a segment on a president who would not have let them speak under the Sedition Act. We've got to leave it right there. But, Reverend, thank you very thank much. Thank you for having me. Uh, David Webb, this conversation will continue. Appreciate yes, it will. It. <laughs>